हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ यू कैन पास द डेटा बिटवीन द पेरेंट एंड द चाइल्ड कंपोनेंट इनसाइड योर एंगुलर 14 एप्लीकेशन सो हियर वी विल बी यूजिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इनपुट एंड आउटपुट डेकोरेटर्स इनसाइड एंगुलर डेकोरेटर्स आर नथिंग बट Uh, the way by which we can communicate between the child and the parent component inside uh, angular so we will be taking a very simple example you will basically see this is a parent component where we are displaying the number of users out there inside a unordered list out there currently if you load the application two items will be uh, shown on the page and then basically we have this child component which contains basically a input field and a button out there which allows you to add new users so as i now write uh, some name out there guys and click on this button you will now see a new user will be added here on the screen so in that way guys we are communicating between the child component and the parent component inside angular using this input and output decorators as you can see as i am just writing this adding this you will see the uh, user uh, interface is updating and basically we are communicating with the child and the parent component so this will be i will be showing you step by step how you can achieve this inside angular 14 and for this i have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website the link is given in the description of the video if you want to follow this blog post alongside with watching this video you can go to the description of this video so if you are learning angular guys this is a very important concept you need to kept in mind which is the input and output decorator so let me just delete all uh, from scratch let me just show you how it is done so let me just delete this so this is basically the application guys let me delete that also yes let me delete this and uh, also delete this from here also so this is our a project guys nothing is there uh, let me just add a title here which is sharing data that's all so this is our application guys uh, angular 14 application and uh, the very first thing we will do guys basically we will create a component here let me just write something here and let me h1 tag i write here this is parent component just to clarify this is the parent component and basically if i refresh the application it is saying can't resolve in uh, let me see where it is source app i think let me restart this okay i think inside app dot module we just need to delete this entry okay so now you will see basically this is the parent component you can see that and the nice thing about that guys it also offers a app dot component dot css file and now if i want to target this i can change the color of the heading i can simply say color to be red this is the advantage of using angular components you can individually style the components based upon the styling that you want to give now let's suppose i want to have a child component we can generate components inside angular cli we can simply write this command ng generate and followed by component and then we will we can create a components folder and inside this we can write here child and this will generate the component guys you will see it will create a components folder you will see that if i open the apps folder you will see it has created that components folder and we have that uh, child component let me start this angular application ng serve so this is basically the child component guys you will see this is child works and if i now need to use this component i will simply go use this uh, uh, selector here which is app child so i will go into my parent component app dot component dot html and here we will simply say app child so this i will embed this and now you will see this is our child component and here we can edit this by simply going to child dot component dot html we can change this text here this is child component so this is basically the parent and the child component you can see and if i want to change its styling i can go to its individual css file and here i can simply target the paragraph and here we can change the color to green 
you can see that and now guys i will be showing you how we can transfer the data between the child and the parent component individually parent to child or child to parent using input and output decorators so the very first thing we will do guys we will simply display some data here static data so here we can simply declare a data here inside h2 tag and here we will simply say my name and then we will have a dynamic parameter which is name so this name if you now refresh this you will see an error out there you can see property name doesn't exist so now to resolve this you just need to go its typescript file child.component.ts file and here you just need to have a property let me declare this uh, delete this all that code here and here we will declare a property of name which we have declared so we can simply say john williamson you can see we have declared this property that we are using here you can see now this error will not come and now if you refresh it is saying uh, that you just need to refresh this you will see my name is john williamson you can see so statically we are printing the data guys this data is not coming from the parent component it is just we have declared this value here name is equal to john williamson so now we will be transferring the data from the parent to child using the input decorator for doing this guys it's very simple wherever we are calling this component which is app child so uh, if you have studied react guys this was this is called as props properties but in angular this is called as uh, passing some data something like this so here we can pass a data here inside uh, square brackets if you if you want to pass some kind of variables arrays or json objects you will surround this using a uh, uh, square brackets of arrays and here you will declare the variable name let's suppose i want to declare a variable called as current name so here we are calling this component guys which is child component this is inside parent component app.component.html we have declared a property name here which we need to pass here and now we just need to declare this property which is inside app.component.ts we just need to declare that current name property current name let me just have this to devon Conway you will see that this is basically the variable we are using current name Devon Conway and basically this is transferring this Devon Conway inside this variable current name and now to receive this variable guys this name variable if I don't use the input decorator and directly if I print out this current name let's suppose if I directly print out name here so what will happen it will say here can't bind to name since it is isn't a pro known property of app child you will see that the error will come here if you check here uh, name exists but still it is not printing out so here we just need to surround this using a input decorator so how we can import the input decorator at the rate input so this is basically the syntax here and parentheses and we just need to import that so we can simply import the input decorator and now we can use this input decorator this is the syntax here and followed by the name of the variable and here we can write any here we are not giving an initial value we are just giving the data type to any here so now if you refresh you will see the my name is Devon Conway you will see that basically this information is coming from the parent component and it is fetched inside the child component and then we are displaying it inside the child component this is the very basic way by which you can communicate the data by guys inside your angular application using the input decorator this is the syntax inside your child component we just need to surround it the value of the variable to be input and whenever you are calling it this component you just need to surround that value to be inside square brackets which is name this name needs to be same here this can't be different if you see this can't be different if you change it to current name this will not work i think it will not work if i now print this out if i change this value to be current name yo yeah so this needs to be same here the value that you are passing and wherever you are receiving it so this needs to be same so you will see that and uh, using the same concept guys we can declare another input decorator this time for an object we can also declare an object here uh, 
let's suppose I want to pass an object from the parent component so we can pass another property here which is obj and uh, this time we will pass a property of the user object and here we can declare a inside our parent component we can declare a user object here which will have three properties the name of the user and the age of the user and uh, the country of the user so basically we have three properties inside the uh, object and now if I want to print this object inside the child component what we can do is that we can use the same logic and uh, we have received this you will see we have put the input decorator obj and we are passing it if you check here we are passing it inside square brackets obj and here we can move to child component html and here we can simply uh, just print out the value here the name here is uh, we can surround this since it's uh, it is an object we can get the value using the dot syntax so obj dot uh, name and uh, we can even get the rest of the properties here which is uh, the age is and then we can again use the double curly brackets which is obj dot j age and also we can use the print out the country here which is obj dot country so if you now refresh here you will now see basically all the three values are printed out the age is 45 country name is so you will see that so in this way guys you can pass arrays as well objects variables anything you want to pass from the parent to the child component now we will be looking at the reverse process how we can transfer the data from the child component to the parent component using the output decorator and uh, for this uh, we will be basically be taking an example uh, we will have a simple input field here where we can have uh, let's suppose i can declare a user and then we will have a simple button to add a user so if you see basically what is have we have an input field inside our child component this is a parent component here and we have a button out of add user so we have given a reference here of user so that we can target its value so we can attach a on click to the button here so whenever you click the button we will execute this function add user and we can get the value whichever the user has written this value by user dot value like this so now what we need to do is that we need to use the output decorator so now we just need to go to the child component.ts file here now we simply need to define this function uh, just go to child component.ts here and here we will be importing the output decorator so you will simply say output and here we can simply say at the rate output and here we can simply declare a data event and uh, new event emitter event emitter and uh, this also we need to import this is needed for this application event emitter and uh, inside your here you just need to pass the data type of the value that you will be emitting so this will be a string value so we will put string here that's all followed by parentheses that's all and here we will define the function guys whenever you click the button we will simply basically take the value which the user has written value data type is any and basically we will emit this event this dot data event and this has a method which is emit and basically it emits an event containing a given value to the parent component from the child to parent and here we will emit the value that's all similar to if you have studied socket.io uh, whenever we communicate between the client and the server this is basically using the same concept we are emitting the value to the parent component and now we need to catch this value which we are emitting to the parent component so now we need to go to app.component.ts file and now to receive this value it's very easy uh, but first of all we just need to go to app.component.html file here and right here inside uh, at the very top here we will basically be uh, passing this event 
so right here we will pass this event here which is called as data event so whatever you call inside your child dot component dot ts file guys you will see data event you need to call the same here so this value needs to be same uh sorry here data event and this will be equal to the function that you will be uh, declaring here inside your parent component so here also we will do the same thing we will get the value and we will add it to the array this event contain the value which we are getting from the child component and now we need to define this function which is add user so just just go to app dot component dot ts file and right here we will first of all declare a users array and this will contain a lot of values uh, for now we will be printing out two values for now when we load the page and then we will define this function which is add user we will basically get the value and we will push this value to the array this dot users dot push and we will push this value like this this user that's all and now we need to def, uh, just display the number of users inside uh, the browser app.component.html right here we will use basically an unordered list here and uh, we will use the ng for directive so let user of users and uh, here we will inside curly brackets we will display the user that's all so if you now refresh here you can see that as i load the page two values are shown to me and uh, if i now add a third value let's suppose uh, i write here click on add you will see the value is added you will see that and now uh, you can add as many values as you want here you will see that and now if you want to clear this value after you return the value you can see the value is not clearing out inside input field if you want to clear it out it's a simple trick that you can follow just go to child.component.html and write put a semicolon and then put user.value is equal to inside single quote like this so now if you write something click add user you will see the value will clear out so this is the basically the thing guys i have shown you in in a short little tutorial how you can transfer the data between child and parent component inside angular using input and output decorators this is a very important concept while you are learning angular many a times you will have multi component component applications you need to transfer data so this is a really basic way by which you can do that so you can follow the blog post the link is given in the description of the video thank you very much for watching this video